Welcome back to the coffee bar with your favorite bartender, A5 Cup of Coffee. We're here with another sip and review. And today we're gonna be doing a non-spoiler short review on the movie Tenet. One of the biggest movies been pushed back, unfortunately, due to you know COVID-19. However, I gotta tell you guys off the top, it was definitely worth the wait. We're gonna go ahead and get us there. I do want to introduce my drink real quick. Uh, this is the Oreo Surprise. I did make this in my previous video. I will leave the link below. Go check it out on if you want to know how to make it, but the Oreo Surprise is wonderful. But this is what we're going to be sipping on. Absolutely awesome. Also, I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Sean Thomas. He is the founder of Shark and Saw. And this is a shirt that I'm wearing. Comfortable, full fitting. I love these shirts. And I'm gonna order some more from you, brother. Um, great, uh, y'all. Y'all check out the link below if y'all want to go ahead and cop some of these shirts. All right. Now, that being said, Tenny. Oh man. So it starts off with our protagonist played by John David Washington, which is go figure, uh, Denzel Washington's son. And man, you start off with a mission where they were supposed to stop, you know, and, and basically an invasion. And unfortunately they weren't able to hit, the protagonist gets captured and they're just torturing him. Like they're like ripping out his teeth and everything. And it, it, this is how the movie starts. They're like torturing him to get information out of him. But uh, instead of giving up the information, he decides to take a, um, uh, suicide pill and when he takes his pill if the screen goes black and of course you know it, uh, we get a title card now of course this movie is by Christopher Nolan if you don't know who Christopher Nolan is you've been living under a rock <laughs> um, he is you know the director of, of such movies as Dunkirk also one of my favorites Inception and then a lot of people's favorites the Dark Knight trilogy so so uh, Christopher Nolan and this movie, this this is how it starts off, and we kickstart this adventure with uh, you know our, our protagonist, and he wakes up, and he's let know that he basically passed the test by not giving up any information and deciding to you know kill himself. And one thing I do want to let you all know, when you first watch this movie, just like Inception, relax. Don't try to figure the movie out before the events happen because it's not going to do anything but make your brain hurt. I honestly had to watch it twice because the first time I watched it, uh, I, I was at an early screening and I watched it and I was just trying to figure out, okay, this is what's happening, this is what's happening, and don't do that. You're going to make your brain hurt. The second time I relaxed, I watched it, and I definitely enjoyed the movie. Um, so... Basically, they are, as you've seen in the previews, you see how they are, you know, doing things in kind of reverse. So, you know, you you're, you start off and you're basically trying to stop this terrorist from actually getting control of this technology that allows people to basically fight in time. Uh, that's a short synopsis on what's going on. I'm not going to try to explain it to you all because you have to go see this movie. Um, if you really want to know my rating for it, like I said, non-spoiler, I definitely got to give it, eight cups of coffee out of 10. Definitely got to give it eight cups of coffee out of 10. Uh, we got some returning actors like, uh, Michael Caine, uh, you know, he's in a lot of the Christopher Nolan movies and, um, you got uh, Robert Pattinson does a wonderful job in this movie as well. The only part that I didn't like, there is sort of a, I feel like, I I'm glad it, it was kind of to the side more so, but it, it was kind of like maybe a love triangle thing kind of going on. And, you know, it, there was the abusive husband type thing. I got to be honest with you, I didn't really like that part of it, but outside of that, the antagonist was awesome he made you feel like hey i am uh, i am willing to kill any and everybody to make sure i reach my goal which i'm not going to spoil it for you all on what the goal is and uh, whatnot 
And then the big reveal at the end, I loved it personally. Um, it, like I said, it did give you that inception feel where you're trying to figure out what's going on, but you, you, you just can't get there just yet. But um, definitely check out Tenet as soon as possible. Like I said, I got to see it at an early screening and you know, it was definitely worth the wait. I wish it had it came out during the summer. I wish this whole COVID-19 thing wasn't going on, but hey, theaters are opening back up and what a way to open back up. Y'all go check it out. Again, this has been A5 Cup of Coffee. Y'all remember, drink more coffee. We're out.